one of the early things we wanted to do with the game is play on the duality. We wanted the prince to experience the sense of time from a completely new point of view. So this time he will experience what the sands do to people. They transform them and make the, transform them into these uh, sand creatures that are uh, mostly uh, evil. So it will be the conflict between the prince and his dark side. So that's why the two thrones, because uh, in, in the end it's uh, what prince will, uh, will win the battle. I think it was uh, very important for us from the beginning to uh, bring this, uh, this trilogy somewhere and to end it because it gives a goal and I mean if the game cannot continue endlessly without going somewhere so it's very important for us to like finish it uh, so that's what we wanted to do uh, with this game and uh, I think that it really brings uh, the evolution of the character throughout the three games to an interesting point. For the mood and the general setting we wanted it to be something quite uh, in between a sense of time and why within so we, we, we but we also wanted to keep the, the, the interesting storytelling uh, that we had and the flavor that we had in sense of time so uh, it's, a, it's a bit of the mix gameplay wise uh, we kept the new moves that we added in the prince uh, throughout the trilogy we added new acrobatic moves like the dagger plant uh, like uh, the, the chain swings the chain actions this kind of things we implemented a new combat system for the sand prince using the chain uh, and we implemented the, the speed kill system, meaning that uh, uh, one part of the game uh, is still the same as it was, more for the acrobatic and puzzle side, but we added new aspects to the game in order to renew it. Uh, the game will come out in December uh, on all uh, platforms, uh, PS2, Xbox, uh, GameCube and PC.